so much. And we did it. Disney cruise vlog in a minute over here on this channel. I just got to the hotel room after a, I, I want to use the word hellacious because I'm being dramatic. It really wasn't hellacious. It just wasn't fantastic journey to get here. Um, there was a huge thunderstorm in Orlando and just delays and delays and we were delayed taking off and then we were delayed land landing. We were circling the airport and then once we landed, they didn't have a gate for us and you know, on and on it goes. But now I'm here, I'm gonna show you around the room. I'm at the Hyatt Regency tonight and then tomorrow they are picking me up and taking me to the cruise terminal where I'm meeting up with a friend and it's gonna be lovely. Well, I hope it's gonna be lovely. Right now, I'm just, you know how you feel after a flight, you're just like slightly dazed and confused. I will say this about this hotel. It is so fantastic after a hellacious travel to just go up the elevator. You literally get on the train when you get off your plane. You come around um, through like the area and when you come out into the big atrium, there is an escalator right by security and you just go right up the escalator. You do have to have um, either your mobile room key or a room key to make the elevators work, which is great because it makes me feel really secure here. And um, yeah, I upgraded to a um, runway view room. It was only $35, so that wasn't a big deal. So yeah, let me show you around. So I took a little bit of footage of this view when you could still see things, but there's the, the runway right there. And there's this nice big balcony with a couple of chairs. So if you're a person that likes to watch the planes land, you can do that. And then there is a little desk with a chair and a lamp. And you have two beds that I already messed up. So sorry about that, but I was checking the duvet situation. I just did a little quick video for my patrons. And it's a little weird. It's a little like, um, like it is technically a duvet, but there's like no down inside it. So it's just kind of like a really thin blanket. Still better than the Disney polyester blanket situation, but you know. And for some inexplicable reason, oh, I know why I messed up both beds because y'all, I brought my own pillowcase because I've been wearing my hair curly now and the whole silk pillowcase thing makes such a huge difference. Now here's the trick. Somebody told me to get a red one or like a bright blue one so that you don't accidentally leave it on the bed at the hotel and also so that the housekeeping staff knows that it's yours. I did not do that. So let's hope I make it home with this silk pillowcase, but yeah. Uh, how old are you when you start bringing your own bedding on trips? This this many old, this big age. <laughs> Two really nice queen beds. Then over on this side, you have a nice big TV. I can't really figure out what this is for. It's It's an ottoman and like a little desk, maybe for kiddos. I'm not entirely sure. And then there is a mini fridge if you needed to store anything. Does it say on it if it is a like beverage cooler or an actual fridge? I like to tell you guys that because I can't tell. Feels like it's an actual fridge though. It matters if you're storing medication. So you'd wanna ask the hotel if you needed that. Included water, coffee, Keurig, safe, extra pillow and blanket, really luscious blackout curtains. One thing when we stayed here, the last three times we've stayed here, you don't hear anything. I don't know how they do that with it being an airport, but you just don't. Um, there's this little area for your clothes. I don't know why the word for that was escaping me because it's not really a closet. I mean, I guess it is. It's a little wardrobe. And then there's an iron and an ironing board. I love when they include padded hangers. Such a nice touch. Well done, Hyatt Regency. And then this is the bathroom. Pretty standard 1990s bathroom, although it does look like they've upgraded the vanity in the mirror situation. There's a nice hook there, toilet area, plenty of towels, nice high regency towels. 
There is a light up makeup mirror down there and a blow dryer. And then I don't love the shower curtain. I, you guys know I much prefer a shower door, but that's okay. And then the shower head and the products are Pharmacopia. So it's kind of nice. Nice little place for you to put your stuff. Really big mirror here. And look at these hooks, you guys. Don't they kind of look like L's or J's? <laughs> but I love this. I think when you're traveling with a family, hooks are just the best. I kind of want that for my house. I might have to do one of those Google image searches and see if I can find that. Because for a guest room, right? The fact that they fold away and it almost looks like a piece of art. I love that. Very nice. And is this a connecting room? No, this is not a connecting room, which is always my preference when I'm traveling by myself. It just makes me feel a lot more secure. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't show you the plugs by the bed. I've already got my cable plugged in. Looks like we've got two USBs, two regular plugs, and then I think that's it. So that's sufficient though. And yeah, these lights, now don't be blinded. I thought were really, really cool on the bed. And then these, comment below if these remind you of something at Disney, because they totally did me, but I will let you guys tell me what you think. And yeah, and then out there is where all the airplanes are landing. So not bad. But yeah, if you've ever thought about like, where, where could I stay if I just need like one night? Maybe like if you're someone who's starting their, their vacation and you want to get like a full park day starting like on a Sunday morning or a Monday morning or whatever, if you want to fly in late and stay here, I think you can't go wrong with this hotel. Um, I mean, remains to be seen, but all the other times I've stayed here, stayed here, it's been really quiet. We've even had a room overlooking literally the um, TSA security area, still didn't hear a sound. Like it's shockingly quiet. So clean, convenient, quiet, not terribly expensive. Can't go wrong. Walk, trying to find better. <laughs> oh no, I was like. I think that's even worse though, kinda. Uh, no, I think it's, it's fine. better. Yeah. We're just gonna go with it, it's fine. We just had dinner. Because we're matching denim. I know. Oh my gosh, we've done that before. Yes. It's kind of our look. It's a thing. Yes. Um, thank you for driving to the airport of for me. Of course. Only Got my parking thing. Only a really good friend will drive to the friggin' airport and park to have dinner with you. But we ate dinner at McCoy's at the Hyatt Regency. It was pretty good. I highly recommend. I'm like, I want to come back here for dinner again. I wouldn't come if you were in a rush to get a flight. No. No. Oh, no. I was like, what? And then I was like, oh, yes, I know why. It's a leisurely dinner. Leisurely experience. Yeah. Um, give yourself extra time for parking if you're just coming to the airport <laughs> like I did. Probably not so good that you should just like drive into the airport. <laughs> I don't know. It was pretty good. I'm like, this pasta awesome. was yeah, excellent. It was good. So yeah. anyway, we give McCoy's a big mark of approval. But yeah. um, again, that was just very sweet. So yeah, get, you. get you a friend that will drive to the airport for you. <laughs> I am being picked up this morning by Stella, my favorite driver in the world from Orlando Transportation by Mike. Um, she will be picking, I don't know if you can hear me, the planes are out there, but I don't even care because I just love to hear it. If you're new to my channel, you may not know this. Um, my dad, when I was born, well, my dad was a B-52 pilot in the Air Force. And then right before I was born, he started working for Continental Airlines and, oh, the bright line. I knew if I was patient, I would see it. Hooray! I'm so glad we captured that. All that to say, aviation is like in my blood. So then I married an airline pilot. And so being, I've been around airplanes and aviation literally since birth. And so, yeah, this is just making me happy hearing the airport sounds and all the things. What was I saying? Orlando Transportation by Mike is gonna come and pick me up. They're gonna be here in about 20 minutes. Stella is my driver. If it is in the budget, um, and actually if you have a large party, it's very minimal the amount more it is to have a private driver come pick you up. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is, this is gonna be me today because I'm very excited about getting on the ship. So let me get my stuff together and I will head out and uh, let's go. And there she is, 
my good friend has come to whisk me off to Port Canaveral. Hi, honey! <laughs> How are you? I love her so much, I have to go hug her now. So I'm here inside the terminal and waiting for Adam. He's going to be here anytime. Security was a breeze, no lines, no waiting. Everybody's here getting ready, and it's so fun to be here. You never know. Face. Morning. <laughs> Adam's here now. Hi, everybody. And we're going to get on the ship, and we're both very excited. Do you feel, I always feel this is a bit surreal, like I'm... I'm it doesn't kick in until I'm like... Once I've got through the hello, welcome aboard, Adam and Jen, and the the very noisy atrium, and then I then we go somewhere. I'm like, the atrium, the atrium energy is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's loud. It's loud. And we've said this in previous vlogs, but like on embarkation day, be patient with yourself. Yeah. If you're stressed, don't yeah. worry. Yeah. That's how it is. Do you know what I did at in the room before I left? Tell um, me, Jen. I will tell you. The Hyatt has this like wellness playlist. And I did a meditation. I know. It was very cool. If you ever stay at a Hyatt, go to like their wellness playlist. And it was a box breathing, 10 minute quick meditation. It was wildly helpful. That they charge you $35 for. No. <laughs> it's free. Disney Cruise Line would like to invite all guests in boarding groups one through six. <gasps> oh, <no. laughs> okay, get all settled. Get all, this, this is the is part where the bloggers have to like frantically put everything away. Yeah, so yeah. we have vlogging hands. <laughs> Are you ready, Jen? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> it's way more fun when I'm vlogging with someone else than when I'm by myself because I have a lot less to like try to keep track of, you know? It's not my butt the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll, I'll go up. Here it is. We are so cliche. I know, I know. Like, oh, this no, is. no, we're not cliche. We're classic. It's not the same thing. It's better. I'm with you. <laughs> it's such a moment. Just for this moment. See, and I always go to the other one, the Kelly Clarkson American Idol. For a moment like this, some people wait a lifetime. Okay, here we go. Some people pay thousands of dollars <laughs> for a moment like this. Hello, everyone. Hi, we're so good. Thank you. 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 Who's doing our welcome? Who is it? Oh, yay. Please welcome the Cousin family. Please welcome the Cousin family. Oh, you look so cute. Royal members, Carabelle, it is now time to welcome you to the Disney Wish. My name is Lady Lee, and I'm a fairy tale player and keeper once upon a time here in the beautiful Grand Hall. One, two, three. Wishes do come true! Also is carrying my bags for me. Right, just because I'm gay doesn't mean I can't be a gentleman. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't tell you where we're going. We're going to Arendelle, not the country, the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like world's best hallway in any cruise ship. I just love it. We already passed the hang in there, Joan painting, I think. Didn't we? No, it's there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's here. It's here. There she is. Hang in there, Joan. <laughs> On the third day, maybe in uh, after Castaway Key. Uh, after, I have a check for you. Thank you. I've never seen this restaurant with the windows open. We're in Arendelle. Isn't that amazing? It's so pretty. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry. sorry? Your your southern came out. Are you out, making fun of my accent? No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> 
Vermont are such an inspiration, and I am so glad that they let you have a uniform that is easier to do actual work in. It's so important. It's so important. Especially those dance numbers. And you're so inspirational to so many young women. We need more women captains, right? All right. Well, it's wonderful to see you. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. Yes, and we'll just wait because it's a video. There we go. Thank you, Minnie. We appreciate you. Have a wonderful sailing. Well, let's get a, let's get a selfie together. Okay, yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, my glasses are off. Oh, my uh, glasses are off. Thank you, friends. Thanks so much, Minnie. Thank you. Thank you. A little pause to commemorate the moment. Room 9660. There we go. And I have my little member thing. And it will not work if it's not out of the package. So don't worry. If, if As long as the seal is done, no one could have gotten into your room. Made it. The hair has gone up because the curlies were curlying. <laughs> And it was time. Um, but I've completely unpacked. I'm going to show you around the stateroom. I am on deck nine. This is a uh, deluxe ocean view stateroom with veranda, not a family ocean view. Those are a little bit bigger. Um, this one will sleep three to four. It does have the berth up here and also the fold out couch and then my beautiful bed. My suitcases are already put away. I'm already starting to feel the relaxation, but yeah, let me show you around the room. So we're gonna start with the bathrooms this time. Um, I've done other room tours on this ship before, so I'm not gonna go into huge detail, but I even love, look how pretty that is on the door. And I only, oh, I see why it's on that one. Probably, I don't know why that's on that one. Interesting. Um, there is your air con important because that this is to make it colder and it is a little stuffy in the room so I just turned it all the way down. I think if you press that maybe it gives it a little bit of a boost but you can also make it warmer if you need it. This is the potty area. This is the first door you come to. Trash can and a towel down there and then you have your sink, your sharps container, your H2O, which it doesn't say H2O anymore, but that's what it is. Sea salt hand soap and a pump, which I love. And then you've got shelves for your belongings. And of course they have the little ledges, so you don't have to worry if we have rough seas, they're not gonna fall over on you. Cute little sink, there's me. And then, oh, and two hooks in here and more storage back there. So that's really nice. Then the other bathroom has your really nice, I think for a cruise line, tub and shower situation. You have your big products there, really nice um, shower head, very comfortable. I love the tile work. It just feels very high end to me and I love the showers and no shower curtain. There is a proper door on the shower curtain, which is just so very, very nice. And then a sink, I've already got my toothbrush out and my stuff to take off my makeup. You have a couple of hooks in here for your towels. Nice big mirror under here. You have, I don't think that's a drawer, is it? I've never used it. If it is, no, it's not a drawer. Um, it's an access panel, I'm sure. You've got tissues and a garbage can and another towel. Probably actually that's your bath mat. Really pretty herringbone tile. These are the kinds of details I really wanna notice more this time on this ship. Love the tile work, so pretty. There's me again, Ooh, as I run into the thing. And then I've gone ahead and hung my beach bag with my beach stuff in it, because this is what I'll take to the rainforest room and my little ball cap. This is a Tiana room. My first time on this ship, I was on the, the same deck and I love Tiana so very much. So there's Tiana and Prince Naveen and all of their animal friends watching them. Oh! so pretty and it's got little glimmers of light in it. I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful that is. What's the crocodile's name? Is it Ray? Pretty sure it's Ray. Oh, the detail there is just so, so, so. Oh, look at those birds up there. Oh my goodness. Really beautiful bedding with a proper duvet and a proper duvet cover. 
all of the things. So nice. You have your nightstands and your plugs. And I did notice over on the other side, I'll show you guys, they have a USB-C, which is awesome since my new iPhone is USB-C. And then you have, I'll turn this off because I don't need it, but you have a reading lamp and then you have a regular lamp right there that actually has a dimmer on it. So you can make that lighter, set the mood for the evening if you want. Look how pretty those little details are really what get me. And then they have this really nice Disney Wish on the bed, really pretty little throw blanket. I already have my cord plugged in. That's not very attractive, but we will just kind of pile it because <laughs> real life. Um, there's my fan. I just haven't plugged it in yet. And there you can see the bed. So pretty. Um, I'm kind of going out of order. And darn it, that's where I sat on the bed, trying to make it look all perfect. I didn't show you the closet. I've already unpacked all my stuff, um, but you've got this side and the light comes on automatically. And then there's the ladder for the bunk if we needed that. And all my clothes are already hung up, which is great. And then your safe is right here. Pretty decent size safe. I've already put my wallet, my passport, and my cash in here. Um, so I will need cash to tip room service. So, But there's no reason for me to have it when I'm just walking around on the ship. So that's all put away. I'll set that safe when I leave. My shoes are there. My flip-flops are actually inside my beach bag. My robe, which as it turns out, I did not need because you guys... <gasps> There are robes. I was hoping that there still were robes and there are still robes. They don't say, oh yeah, they do have Disney Cruise Line on them. They don't say the Disney Wish. I feel like the first sailing, they said the Disney Wish. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but yes, lovely robes. And then we'll come over to this side of the room. There's our TV. And this is where I will put on my makeup. So I'll show you guys what I've done. I put everything in here. I've shown how I do this before, but if you, if this is where you're going to do your makeup, and this is the first time I did this was on a Viking cruise ship, put a washcloth out because then everything won't roll around and it's all accessible for you. And then they also have the stationery and things like that in here. So that's all unpacked. I have my bag there. Oh. Um, my perfume that Brooke picked up for me in Epcot. Glasses situation. I don't know why that's turn around weird, but um, the sunglasses, the cheaters, you know, all the things. Uh, over here, just like my empty makeup bags. This is a new camera that I am experimenting with. So you probably won't see any footage on this camera from this trip, but you might on future trips. So I've got it to kind of play with while I'm here. This is your beverage drawer. It's a chiller, not an actual fridge. And then I've got my pajamas and undergarments are all, all packed away in there. And there's your hair dryer. And then this is just another couple of cubbies that I don't require. There's also a little stool for me to sit on when I do my makeup. And this beautiful Tiana artwork. So pretty. I just love her so much. She's such a beautiful, she's a princess, but really she's a queen. We know. Uh, this obviously will be, uh, can be closed if you need it to be for privacy, but since I'm here all by my lonesome, I won't need that. And here's our balcony. So let's go see what's going on out here. The beautiful view of Port Canaveral and a lot of sun at the moment. But yeah, so that's our stateroom 9660. And if you are gold, which is what I am, you get the Castaway Club beach bag and the Castaway Club wet dry bag, which is really nice, which just always makes me laugh because when they first started doing these, they weren't marked and no one understood what they were because <laughs> it was a wet dry bag. And then my little um, lanyard, which I'll show you in just a second. A couple of you had asked in my packing video why I wasn't packing a lanyard, and that's because I knew that this one would be waiting for me. You can also use, if you have a magic band, you can do that, um, but I opted not to do that. So there you go. He's such a cutie. 
Oh, and you know, I just now, I had forgotten that I booked a navigator's balcony. So that's what that means. A navigator's balcony is when it's a little bit obstructed, which I'm actually completely fine with because it feels super, I don't know, is cozy the right word? Hold on, I'll show you more detail on that. Like, it's just like protected. So I feel like from the wind or whatever, that's actually not bad. A little toasty out here today though, so we're gonna shut this. Because if this is not shut and latched properly, the um, air conditioning won't work right. So you wanna make sure. And if you find the air con not working in the room, open the door and shut it again, because sometimes that's the magic that does the trick. We sat through quite a lengthy little presentation to enter to win but you a know raffle. what? If you're coming on the wish, don't bother with the raffle, okay? There is like 50 people in there. You're, well, probably more than that. The yeah. chances of you winning are very slim. Yeah. And I think you'd be better off spending not 30 minutes being advertised to. I know, I could have already had a glass of champagne by now. Uh, there was one family who won, that had like multiple state rooms that won two prizes as well. So I mean, we might fair. just be bitter about it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's be you know, better, not just, bitter. He would be saying like, if we'd won, we'd be like, make sure you do the raffle. Know, like we won $250 we credit. Would. And I'll be honest, as often as we sail, if anyone shouldn't win the raffle, it should be Well, honest. I was thinking that. I entered the raffle and I was like, look at me entering a raffle. I know, we really, that's, that's on us. We're gonna yeah. accept that. So I've broken into someone's stateroom. <laughs> this is Brian and Suzette, who I met on the DVC member cruise, yeah? Yeah. So we're actually friends. Like I, I have her cell number and everything. I did, and she was like, so this was a guaranteed, last minute, last minute guaranteed, and you happen to get a handicapped accessible room. Correct. And I want, just want to show you guys this room because the bathroom we were saying is just okay, but the size is amazing and the balcony is ridiculous. So hold on. Yeah, exactly. All right, so this is the room, you guys. What did we say, Suzette? It seems like a lot bigger this width. way the exactly. width totally the width and then this balcony is what's insane to me yes. and they just this was not like extra this is just this category oh my gosh this is so pretty but hold on i'm, I'm going to show you guys the bathroom hey brian and suzette do you care if i show people your bathroom? <laughs> this is why disney friends are the best so obviously you it's a shower curtain and then it's roll-in, which is great. And they have the chair. So Brooke and Adam, there you go. Show them that as much as I want to show them this that you made. Do you put this on every door when you yeah. sail? I have other ones that I've made too. Okay, hold on. In here, Brian. So how many cruises have you been on now with Disney? This is 32. 32? So you're Pearl, obviously. You need, you need a, a, something above. That. I don't know what that would be. Yeah, Sapphire, either. diamond, spectacular. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me show everybody your room. Yeah. I love you guys. I'm like just so glad we ran into you. It's so fun. Yes. Disney people are the best. Adam's room we're gonna have either gonna have a quick drink or we're just gonna hang out for a minute because I never I get very anxious Adam about how we're not supposed to show up on time but then I don't like to be late well 
the thing is, if you show up on time on the first. Day, I know, I know, you're right. You've got a I know, I know, line. I know, you're right, and we don't do that. And we don't. I don't want to get in line for no reason. No, it's true. It's true. I'm just going to sit and, and not be you ridiculous. Treat, you know, I will serve you oh, military, madam. Look how pretty. <laughs> but this is a good part of the sail away. Oh, so beautiful. And this uh, coastland outside of NASA has been protected for years and years and years. So there are species of birds and sea animals that only live over here. At least that's what they told us when we did the Cape Canaveral tour, which by the way is really interesting. And also I think I share that fact every time we go past here, but so pretty, so, so, so pretty. Oh, look at all the birds. All right, I'm not shaming anyone for anything. Everyone should take as many <laughs> pairs of shoes she says about as, the shame. as they deem responsible on their upcoming cruise. But I would like, we're just going to do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that seven pairs, Adam? Yes, but they all have different purposes. They all have different purposes. And there's, there's some that I can't wear for a long period of time. Like these, these sure. match my shirt that I'm wearing right now. Sure, sure. But I can't wear them for a full day out. Okay, gotcha. These are well, actually my theme park shoes. Theme park shoes, right. But, you know, you never know when you might. And I also was also in Disney World a few days before. Yes. Um, I've got fancy shoes for Paolo Remy, obviously. Yes, and now Enchante. And... Enchante. 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 Um, some deck shoes because I don't know why I brought those to be fair, but they, they, they're quite comfortable and they, well, they work for dinner and days out. Well, and you never know. And then flip flops for the spa. So I yeah. don't think I've gone too overboard. And also, no. just because I bring the kitchen sink does not mean I am any less of a travel expert. I completely you. agree. More so even. We have different approaches. Yes, absolutely. With the same goal, mm -hmm. which is to have a magical time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you having a good day? Yay! Pause up, man! <laughs> all the energy, all the energy. Oh my goodness. What is happening right now? <laughs> Someone understood the assignment. <laughs> Now this, no, I am. I have, know I am. Have you been tonight? You've not. Oh, Lord in heaven. Oh, my Lord. He's getting silly. Y'all save me. So you've not been in Nightingales before? You've never no, been here? No, uh, me and Gary uh, passed, but it was um, very busy. Yes, it tends and, to be. Uh, we thought, we'll pass. Yes. We'll come back another time. Yes. So I'm back another time. And it's not busy at all. So she's going to start at 730. So we're just going to order some drinks and we don't have dinner until 815. So... Lovely. Okay, this is good. This is really good. I love this restaurant. I'm definitely getting the cod and the scallops. Very excited. And there is Oaken who's over there. So fine. Ten to ten, and I am headed back to the room <laughs> to shower and go to bed. Oh, look at the beautiful swan! I love that, and the lights all lit up and kind of flickering ever so slightly. And my chocolates, <sighs> and my bed. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.